What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Jay. We is back with another video. And by the title and the thumbnail of this video, I'm about to be showing y'all how I grew my clothing brand to over 10k followers, like in the span of like a year, like a year, yeah, a year. But yeah, so get out whole rundown. I just got done packing some orders, so like I said, I'm gonna turn this video into a vlog of me going to the post office and all that. I gotta go into the Balenciaga store after that too to try on these Balenciaga boots that go with these pants that I got on now. And but yeah, I'm gonna give y'all some few tips on how I grew my brand to like over 10k followers, and you know, more followers equal more dollars. But look, I just wanted to show y'all before we hop into this video, so I, so y'all know. As y'all can tell, if y'all can see that, that says 1.1 million. 1.1 million profile visits in the last 30 days. And y'all just do the math from that. The rest is history from that. So just know I got a lot of orders I gotta ship out. But yeah, I'm about to be breaking down how what I did to get my brand out there. Cause I know a lot of y'all asking me, how do you how you get your brand? How did you get that brand out there? So yeah, and we back with another sit down video because it been raining in the past. It been raining in Atlanta for the past like four days, like badly. So to the point where it put a delay on my uh, bulk orders that was coming in. So I was like, shit, I gotta get a video out, so I gotta post some. So we're gonna give y'all some free game for a little bit, turn this bitch into a vlog real quick. And yeah, y'all gonna fall with it. And y'all see, I got the new sit on right now because it's cozy. I'm on with my cozy vibe and shit. Yeah, I need to get like a medium because this is a large, so that's why I look kind of like <laughs> on me. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, y'all been going so crazy. I haven't done one of these like sit down videos in a minute, so. Bear with me, you know what I'm saying? Bear with me when I'm talking shit. But y'all been going so crazy on both channels. I was going actually gonna get active on both channels again. I've been posting my vlog channel like two weeks, which is crazy. But I've been active on this channel, so it's not like I've been ghost off the platform. I'm about to get even crazy on both channels. So everybody just keep showing love. But make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and it's your boy Chop. We're gonna hop straight into the video. Yo, so look. One of the first key points of how I grew my brand, when I was first starting my brand, I used to go, um, like, in the city, and I used to go, like, so if you in a surrounding area where you got, like, a big city and, you know, a lot of people in the city, go outside and network. When I was just getting started with my brand, I ain't know nobody. Well, I knew people, but, like, I ain't know nobody like I, how I know now. I would go to the city, film my content in the city like i'll film my content in the city and you're gonna always eventually run into somebody that either does the same thing that you're doing but better and are just networking with people in general especially if you live in atlanta if you live in atlanta and it's 2024 if you live in atlanta and you're an entrepreneur do not be ghost and be in the career about it and working with like twin go to all the streetwear events go to go to like just get out the house network with everybody like even Reach out to them on the DM, bro. They most likely gonna respond. I know if you hit me, I most likely respond. Just know it's gonna take a little minute because I tell y'all, my DMs are flooded. So I be trying to get to literally everybody. I be trying to get to every single one of y'all because I really appreciate every single one of y'all who reach out to me because it shows a lot. So yeah, get outside, go network, show the product out there. That's one of the ways you could grow your brand like in the city that you're in. Once you have the city buzz, then you can get it. Like worldwide, worldwide type shit. But yeah, go. That's one like that's like a free, easy step. It's just go to the city, go to somewhere like if you live somewhere that got a big city with a lot of people in it. Go outside and don't be afraid to like talk to people. Like don't be afraid to like network with people, lock in with people. I know I was locking in with a lot of people when I was on the come up, and I'm still coming up. I'm not like saying I made it or anything. I'm just saying get out, go network. And that's all I can say. Now, another key point is twin. If you have a product, bro, and you try, like, as I showed out, showed y'all in the beginning of the video, we'll show y'all my sales and stuff. I don't like showing my money and shit online. We gonna go to dashboard, right? That's a one point. If y'all can read, one point one million people. You know how a lot of people it is to look at your clothing brand. To look at your brand, your piece of pride that you're trying to sell. Now look, do the math. I think they say it's like a point. It's like a point three percent of people who buy that. What's point three people uh, divided by like a million people? That's that's like almost like five hundred to six hundred sales. If my math is right, I don't really feel like doing the math, but it says 
People who look at your product is a 0.3% chance of people actually looking there and buying them. So the more people you have, twin, a million, I have a 1.1 million people who see my brand. At least 200 to 300 to 400 people is going to buy, is actually going to shop. So you take, so if you do, let's do some math real quick. Let's do some math. So you do, say my, because my, my sweatsuit is like 130. So 130 times. 500. Say I just get 500 people times 130. That's 65,000. Let me make sure I did that right. 130 times 500. Yeah, that's 65,000. And then your profit that you'll take away will probably be like, what, 30, 33, 30, like 34, 35,000. So you're pop, pocketing. So based on what I say, bro, if you got a good product, bro, and you know your product is actually good and you got good quality, high quality content, don't be afraid to put money behind your product. I could show you, let me actually show you how much money I'm putting on an ad real quick. Let me show you. Yeah, I might have to turn this one off though. This one's not busting no more, but it's okay. I'll redo it. So amount spent. I spent $327. The orders I got from the, the money I spent, I got 77 orders from $327. So say, if my product, say, look, we're gonna say, just say everybody ordered the sweatsuit, right? 130 times 77. So $300 some dollars made me $10,000 flat. Now you, now you minus that $370. And then you minus what your bulk order price is in. So say if I split it in half, say my bulk order would be like, say that would, say my bulk order right there would be like three thousand. I'm profiting at six thousand. So don't be afraid to put money behind your product. Most likely, if your product is hard and you got high quality content, when if your product is hard, you got high quality content, the ad gonna pay for itself within the first hour or two. Swear. So. Don't be scared to put money, don't be scared to put money and invest money into ads. Like, I know people be like, organic, organic, organic is cool, right? Organic is cool. I might tell you another way. Organic is cool until the algorithm is not algorithm no more. Until it changes up and you got to switch up your content. The algorithm is too inconsistent to be organic. Now, if you want to be organic, another thing that I did to get, like, organic sales, I built my personal brand. That's what... Most of y'all is sleep on, most of people is sleep on is building your personal brand. So you got to build your personal brand. You gotta build your personal brand. In. One reason why I started my YouTube is I'm about to get y'all game. If you start YouTube, you start on the whole process, they show on who you is, who is that. They're like, oh shit. He like, he like ship orders consistently. He's showing his whole journey. So they actually gonna feel connected with you. They gonna wanna support you more based on what I'm trying to say. So Build your personal brand in. Now, whether that's on TikTok, whether that's on YouTube, whether that's on Snapchat, on Instagram. Like, if you do fashion content, just incorporate your clothes into the fashion. Like, that's if you're really into clothes. That's what I do. I incorporate my clothes into what, I, what I'm already doing into my, my fashion content. So, I do, like, for the days with my clothes on. I do, like, recent pickups. Add my, I will add my clothes with my recent pickups. So, it's not so... It's not confusing the algorithm that I'm actually trying to put on my brand. That's on my personal Insta. That's on my personal TikTok. Now you could have a brand TikTok as well and build your brand TikTok, but I feel like there's so many brands out there. It's so saturated right now. Just because it's saturated don't mean you cannot start your brand and pop up. But start your brand and pop up. That's just like saying the food industry is popping up. If yo, if the if the food is good, niggas gonna eat there. If the clothes is hard, niggas gonna buy. Okay, so. Nothing is never too saturated. So, um, yeah, one of the big things I say is building your personal branding is key. I feel like y'all should worry about that mostly in 2024 is building your personal branding. Because once you have your personal branding at first, you have your, like, I would say like your cult following, kind of. Yeah, your cult following. And the rest is history. That You have that. You have your organic sales. Press your sales from your ads. Like. The world is in your your hands, basically I'm trying to say. Now, another thing that I did to grow my brand is giveaways. Giveaways work very well when you're trying to grow your brand, but I'm gonna give y'all like a key factor. Don't just try to act like begging for like followers and begging for that. Look, 
Cause look, people are only going on. It's two things that can happen with giveaways. People can only sign up. I mean, people can only follow for the giveaway. But if once they don't win the giveaway, they're gonna unfollow the giveaway. You want people who are actually interested in the product and not just because it's free. So this is what I'll do. I'll say like, I don't, have, I don't even think I say follow. Let me see if I can go to my archive and let's see if I got something in there for y'all real quick. Let's see, let's see. But basically, what I'm trying to say. When I be running my giveaways, I drive onto my SMS list too for the people who are actually interested in the product. So it's not like I'm begging for them to like. I forgot how I worded it. Let me see if I go to my archive so I could just show y'all real quick. Archive, archive, cause I be archiving all my uh my giveaways, bro. Give me a second. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Giveaway, giveaway, Cyber Monday. That's Okay, 10k giveaway. I said whoever commented the most, P get the uh, get a free set. And then I said sign up to the SMS list to notify when we uh go live. Just off of that, just off of that, when I boosted that ad, I gained almost like 800 to a thousand people on my SMS list within like two weeks, cause that's building up to my drop. So. That's 800 new potential customers who are actually interested in the product. So basically I'm trying to say, bro, majority of it is don't be afraid to put money into your product. Like be, just don't be scared to invest money into your product. What they say, you gotta spend money to make money. And that's key when it's coming to the clothing brand game, especially if you don't already have a name for yourself and you're not like big on any other platforms. Cause if you're starting a clothing brand and you like, it's kind of hard to start a brand now because there's so many brands and you don't already have like a following or like something based on what I'm trying to say. So yeah, in 2024, I'll be most likely focusing on building building a personal brand. Look, these three things is all you need to grow your brand and grow your following. Focus on building a personal brand if that's what you want to do. If you don't want to do your personal brand, then you can go strictly at the ad route and having a high quality, good quality product. If you have a product that can sell, dump money into that product, I swear. I swear. It's okay to go organic, like TikTok is cool to go organic with that, but to what I'm telling you, it's inconsistent. If you want consistent sales, if you want to do 10K months, 10K, 20K months consistently, you gotta spend money to make money. So put money in the product, but don't be scared to invest in yourself because all money spent on investing in yourself is not bad spending. It's a even if you lose, that L is for a lesson. That's what I'm trying to say. But yeah, I'm gonna give y'all probably like one more key point of how I built my, how I built uh, my brand to 13K. I think I pretty much said everything though, hold up. Oh, no mind, I didn't say one more thing. Another thing twin, if you're really trying to build your following and get more sales with your color brand, I'm letting you know now. Hop on Instagram Reels right now. Now, like twin. I can show y'all all my Instagram reviews. Let's see if it pick up and focus. I might just pop it up on the screen, but let's see. Is it, let me turn my brightness down real quick so y'all can see. There you go. If y'all can see, 16, 16, I mean, oh, that's eight, that's 18K. 18, 59K, 12K, 25K, 24K, 411K, 27, 15, 16, like, all my reels have a blood above 10,000 views. One thing about Instagram is way more consistent than TikTok. So if you want to do organically, I would say hop on Reels right now and do, make sure your videos are very high quality and I promise you they will take off. They will get more views than TikTok. I know TikTok is stopping a lot of views at uh, 200 views, 200 views or something. One thing about Instagram is way more consistent. If you have a following with your Instagram, it will actually share to your following plus more on the Explore page. It's actually way more consistent than it is with Instagram and I. People can vouch for that. So, if you're not on Reels right now, then, right now, I don't know what to say, y'all, but better hop on this Reels. I swear to God, before, every, before everybody hop on it and it gets saturated, I'm telling you, Reels, Reels are a cheat code. Literally a cheat code. So, that was the last key point I have for y'all. It's not really too many key points, but one thing I'll mainly focus on, if you're really trying to like, Get out there, get out there. I'll say build your personal brand and like hot points. I mean shit, show your journey on YouTube. You're not going out your way to pick up the camera. Like 
you already doing what you're doing, just press record. That's all you gotta do is just press record. And don't be a, don't be afraid to reach out to people if you're trying to get people in your product. Don't be afraid to network with anybody if you're trying to get down and trying to DM anybody. Just DM a twin. Shoot your no. <laughs> Whoa. What the fuck? Hey no. Nah. Um Yeah, but don't be afraid to network with anybody like twin. I'm telling you. And I swear, watch your followings go. Watch your followers and your sales drastically grow, and you're gonna come back to the video. Like, damn, y'all was right, cause I'm giving y'all everything I did. So, if what I'm doing working, do it. Put your own spin on it. It's gonna work even better. That's what I'm trying to say. But we are gonna hop into a vlog. I gotta go ship out these. Uh, I gotta go ship out these orders. I'm probably gonna go to the Blinkstock store, then come back and ship out them orders, cause I really wanna try on them boots first. But I'm probably gonna vlog that on my vlog channel when I'm me going to Blinkstock store and shit. So y'all boy go tap into the vlog channel. I really hope y'all took something out of this video. And then the next time y'all see y'all, I'm gonna pick up what it's up once we at the post office. Boom. Oh, so I'm just gonna continue what I was doing. Y'all just gonna come with me. I gotta, um, so this is what I decided to do. So I got hella extra, so I'm finna just ship all these extra ones out real quick. So I'm finna go come over here, get all these extra ones real quick, and then see what orders match up with each, with each other. What the fuck? Yeah, with each other. Yeah, <laughs> what the fuck? Bro, I need a retwist, bro. I need like. I don't know. So, I got like three lined up right now. I'm finna go print all these real quick. I gotta go get the other ones from all the way upstairs, though. So, I'm finna just print these documents real quick. And, yeah, print all these real quick. Just a cool little shipping day. We gotta say to the people, man. We gotta say to the people, man. Don't smell them, dude. I want to smell your breath, boy. Yeah. So I got these little printed out. About to go just pack these up. So I ain't got to worry about those. Then I got another load coming in. Um, Got a huge load coming in. Actually, this weekend. Because it all been delayed and shit. I need to get more bags, too. I ain't going to lie. I need to order more bags, more shipping labels. So that's what I'm going to do as well. And yeah, I really hope y'all really took something down for that video. Took something down for the information and shit. How to grow your brain and stuff. So I just decided just to vlog. Like I said, y'all let me know if y'all fuck with these type of videos. Why do I give y'all like some informational shit? And then I just bring, continue y'all with a vlog. But yeah, let me get these packed up. And then I'm going to catch y'all once I got these all packed up. Just got done sorting out through all the extra ones I had, so unfortunately, most of these niggas ordered the set, so they ain't ordered the individual, so we got six little six little bags I don't gotta worry about. Probably drop these off probably today. Either today or tomorrow. It's raining really bad, so I'm probably just gonna stay in the crib for the rest of the day. But yeah, yesterday I was in court for all day, bro, so I couldn't film yesterday, so that's why y'all getting let me fix that. That's why y'all getting a video on Wednesday. Cause I was in a, I was literally in court all day, bro. For some nut shit. It's okay though. <laughs> but we is back now though. We is back. So I'm gonna get y'all this vlog out. By tomorrow, about to probably sit down and film uh another video for Sunday. So I got everything scheduled and stuff. But yeah, everything been Everything been going smoothly, bro. I got a lot of shit on the way. I'm going to show y'all a sneak peek of what got, what's on the way as well. As I did tell y'all, I got new colors and shit on the way. So, I'll set y'all down real quick. Right, I'm just going to get a quick look. Focus. 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 I don't want to focus, but yeah, y'all get the point. Hold up. Put y'all out real quick. Y'all get the point. But yeah. I ain't going to lie. Might go. I see. Shot. Should I just go drop these off real quick? Straight, straighten up my mess though real quick. Should I go drop these off real quick? Ugh, it's raining though. I don't feel like doing it. I don't know. I be so indecisive, y'all boy. Throw this shit away, but I'm gonna pick that up. Actually, 
Yeah, I'm gonna pick up boys up when I go to the post office. I'm actually gonna go to the post office. Now. Should I? If y'all see another clip, I went to the post office. If y'all don't see another clip, I ain't go to the post office. So I really hope y'all enjoy this video, boys. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. It's your boy Jack. Really appreciate y'all. We're taking over. And yeah, I'm gone. So geeked up, you a dance cap. She bust up, but I put on the map. Nothing to sprite and it tastes like act. Real deal drinking.